Baseball's drop third strike rule needs to end because it makes absolutely no sense. To understand where this rule comes from, we have to go back to 1796 when a German children's book author, Christoph Frederick Gutsmith, an early advocate for physical education, wrote a book entitled Ball with Free Station or English Baseball. In this book, he describes an early form of baseball, but with many noticeable differences from the modern game, mainly the fact that there were no balls and strikes. So Gutsmith introduced a rule that would give the batter three tries to hit the ball. And on the third try, regardless of if he hit the ball or not, the batter could just run towards first base. Now, this early adaptation of three strikes were for early gym classes. But even as the rules of baseball evolved to the late 1800s, like making the fielders catch the ball on a fly for an out and not just on its first bounce, a carve out for the third strike rule always remained. So in 1887, the rule was amended again to only be in effect when first base was open. And that's pretty much where we've ended up with a rule that's so far removed from its original context that it doesn't really make much sense. And let's be honest, removing the drop third strike rule from modern baseball would hardly be noticeable. These days, players don't even take advantage of the rule. And when they do, it's one of the more dangerous plays for a first baseman and base runners, which is why 